Pretty grand in here. Maybe you can make it your trophy hall or museum or something. Or a handball court.
this must have been the mess hall. Better get this up and running pronto. Keeping your people well fed is probably the easiest way to keep them loyal. Don't shoot! Who... Who are you? You're not dressed like the marshals. I'm Del Hackett, and I... Well, uh, I speak for these people. We've been living here for months, and... We've got nowhere to go. Please... Will you let us stay? Bad idea. I've been in their shoes, but this is a military base. If we have squatters everywhere, it'll be hard to keep discipline. Your recruits won't like it either. The Patriarch's people don't care about people like us, but you're not beholden to them. We all farmed in the border country between Colorado and the Plains. Thought we were safe out there, under the Patriarch's protection. Back then, the gangs feared the Patriarch. <laughs> Not anymore. They burned our greenhouses and killed everyone who tried to fight them. No place left to run but here, for any of us. We're not welcome there. They already have too many mouths to feed, and more are always coming. Not intentionally. The Patriarch's people drove up to the base a few days ago, so we hid in here for a while. Then when Andy went to check if they left, all the doors slammed shut and the alarms started whooping. Don't know what happened. Been living in these ruins for weeks, and we never set anything off before. Your call. Won't make the volunteers happy, but the Patriarch put you in charge, not them. You said... yes. Uh, well, I was sure you wouldn't. We won't be any trouble, I promise, and, and we'll help out wherever we can. 
<sighs> Thank you for giving us a chance. Oh, and uh, one of our people is missing, Andy. If you find him hiding out somewhere, you send him back to us. Hear that, everyone? We gotta make ourselves useful around here. Hi. Well, what's up? Haven't seen you before, have I? Rangers, huh? Cool, man. Cool. I, uh, like your look. I think I had a shirt like that once a long time ago. Long, long time ago. Um, headquarters for what? That's cool. Helping's good. I like helping. Uh, are there like more of you here? Oh yeah, man, of course. I don't, I, I don't mind. Ask me whatever. My name? Uh, yeah, ah, uh, Ned, Ned, Harry, Nick, Booger, Dickens, Lyle, uh, uh, you know, I don't know, <laughs> something like that, honestly, I don't, you know, remember, 
been a long time since I thought about that, man. Been a longer time since someone uh, asked me about it. I, I kind of been here for a while. Couldn't tell you, man. Couldn't tell you. Like, there's no windows or clocks in here, you know? Hard to keep track of when the day, uh, when the day starts or ends. Anyway, a long time. Long enough for other groups, uh, other people to come and go. You know, man, I, uh, I got everything I need in here to keep on. Little, uh, little crack in the ceiling over there drips some water. So I just gotta, uh, lick the wall when I'm thirsty. And, uh, you know what they say about dark, damp spaces, man. Mushroom grow there, man. <laughs> so I added a little self, uh, self-made fertilizer. And those mushrooms are growing good. Yeah, man, yeah. Yum, yum. Oh, yeah, and, uh, bugs. When they come by. Buzzy crunchers and climby snappers and skittery two bites and running gushers. Sometimes roly poppers and hoppy specks. Once a squirmy slurp. That was a good day, man. But yeah, mainly mushrooms. Because, uh, the cell door is locked. <laughs> oh, man, didn't you like my joke okay okay like well so a guy i used to be friends with well i guess he was more of a more of a business partner friend though too man like former friend who decided he didn't uh want to go splitsies anymore so he uh he conked me on the head and when i woke up um i i was in here Real bummer, man. Like, seriously. Oh, man. Uh, that's, uh, some wild stuff. So a while ago, that dead guy over there came running in here all nervous and uh, freaked out and starts messing with that uh, computer machine over there. And yeah, then there's this big ass flash of light from the computer machine and he falls down and then all these uh, sirens and flashing lights. It was horrible, man. Like it made it really hard to sleep, you know? Then after a while, the alarm stopped, and then, uh, well, you came in. Oh, yum. Mushrooms are the best, man. So, uh, so many flavors. And they grow every, uh, everywhere and grow easy. I love them. Who knew they were poisonous ones? <laughs> really something else. Some poison killed that poor guy at the exact same time as that machine zapped him. Man, what a, 
What a wacky world. I told you, man. My partner trapped me in here. Thought he was my friend, you know? But, uh... But he wasn't. Yeah, sure, uh, maybe. Sometimes, like, a guy might come in, but I don't know if he was connected to the guy who came in before him, you know? Kinda... Kinda hard to keep track of how long it is between visits, and people don't always tell me what's going on outside. But, uh, let me see. Last guy who came in to see me was the dead guy. Before him, tired eyes lady. Before her, the smiling woman. Before that, it's a little fuzzy. Oh, uh, didn't, uh, didn't we talk about this already? So a while ago, that dead guy over there came running in here all nervous and, uh, freaked out and starts messing with that, uh, computer machine over there. And yeah, then there's this big-ass flash of light from the computer machine and he falls down and then all these, uh, so then after a while, the alarm stopped, and then, uh, well, you came in. Well, she was, uh, she was a woman, dressed all raggedy, but, uh, I'm one to talk on that. <laughs> anyway, she came in here looking sad. Eyes looked like she hadn't, uh, hadn't seen a good night's rest in years. We talked, um, for a bit, and then she left again. Sometimes I think I can still hear her voice. Hope she didn't die and she's haunting me for some reason. Though, now that I think about it, I guess I'd be glad for the company, you know? Oh, a real nice lady, man. Had a big old smile on her face the whole time we talked. Just never stopped smiling. I think she said she was a trader. Talked about how she had some merchandise to keep here and some people she was gonna deal with. Said I wasn't uh, a suitable client, which, sure, cause uh, I got no money. Well, actually, she said I wouldn't be suitable for her clients, which I thought was a weird way to, uh, to say that. Yeah, 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 okay. Cool. Oh, man, yes, yes, please. Very much. Uh, your call on this one, Rangers, but really, I just let nature take its course here, if you know what I mean. I'd, uh, I'd really, really, really like to get out of here. Really. Cool, I, I get it, man. No pressure, but uh, I sure appreciate it. So, uh, so long.
Oh, yay! Thank, uh, thank you so much, man. I owe you big, uh, real big time. This won't be the last time you hear from me. Stink. Somebody's been using this med bay for a morgue. Gonna take an ocean bleach to get it ready for customers.
Look at all this machinery. If we can get it all running, this will be a good spot for your armory. Get this cleaned out, you can put your truck in. Watching reckless drivers, fed up with paying a fortune to shady mechanics that never actually fix your car? Consolidated Atomics has the answer. Introducing Hermes, the revolutionary vehicle AI that's an expert driver, navigator, and auto mechanic all in one. Hermes remembers your daily commute, gathering up-to-the-minute traffic reports to plot the quickest route to your destination. The AI also takes care of basic maintenance, keeping your vehicle in peak condition. Visit your local dealership for information on a Hermes upgrade kit today. Consolidated Atomics, 21st century solutions for the problems of today.
Systems active. Systems active. Systems active. Systems active. Greetings, Rangers. Systems, systems active. Great system, systems active. 